it's time for your maths learning again. This is brilliant. We get to warm up our brains and get ready to show off our sparkly thinking. But before we get started and warmed up, I wonder, have you ever heard of a cheerleader before? A cheerleader is a special sports person who uses pom-poms and they say really nice things to cheer all of the teams on. Sometimes they even use counting, skip counting, counting in twos, just like this. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Reception! Would you like to try counting like a cheerleader together? We're going to count in twos. And when we get to 20, we're all going to shout out hooray. Get ready, set, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hooray! <laughs> Pause the video now if you'd like to practice doing that on your own or maybe with your family and friends. It's a great skill to learn counting in twos. Do you remember when I had little Miss Richards come and help me to share out an amount to make sure that we had equal amounts of sweets? Great! We are going to do some more sharing work today. We are going to be sharing amounts into equal groups and that's going to be our focus for today. So come over here and let's have a look at some examples. Ready? Welcome to the sharing paradise. Hello! Where we all work really hard to share fairly and equally. We can share things that are really lovely like sweets. But how many do I have? Shall we count and check together? Say the numbers with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many sweets do I have all together? That's right. There are eight sweets all together. Shall we share them between two people or two groups? We've got Mrs. Lego, who is one group. And we've got Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, you're the other group. Ready? Let's draw a circle next to our characters to represent their groups. And we are going to share the amount of eight between the two friends, between the two groups. Do you remember how to do it? You've got to do it in order. One for Mrs. Lego, one for Hello Kitty. One for Mrs. Lego, one for Hello Kitty. One for Mrs. Lego, one for Hello Kitty. One for Mrs. Lego and that's right, one for Mrs. Kitty. Right, now that we have shared out the amount and there are no more left to share, we should have a look at our groups. How can we describe them? Mrs. Lego has got one, two, three, four all together. So let's write four for her group. Let's have a look at Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty has got one, two, three, four sweets in her group. So what number should we write? Of course, we should write four. Now have a look at the amounts in our two groups. We have four and we have four. Are these amounts the same or are they different? Are they equal? Or are they unequal? Shout it out for me now. Yes, you're right. They are the same. These groups are equal. We have one, two equal groups because they are both four. Let's have a little think about how else we can describe this. I have a stem sentence for you to use. I have one, two, two groups of four. How many did I have all together, everybody? That's right eight all together. Will you say the sentence with me now? I have two groups of four. I have eight all together. If you can share and describe your sharing like this, that will make you a maths master. Let's try another example. Ready to share again? Great. I have some more sweets. How many do I have? Shall we count and check again? Together, say the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, of course, I carefully shared out my twelve sweets between my two friends, between my two groups. This is what it looked like. We've got Mrs. Lego's group. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six in her group. 
So let's write the number six underneath. How about Hello Kitty's group? How many has she got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's write the number six. Six and six is the same amount. Six and six is we equal. Have one, two equal groups of six. We have 12 all together. Shall we say it with our stem sentence? Say it with me, everybody. I have two groups of six. I have 12 all together. Okay, I think we're really getting the hang of this. Let's do some more sharing. It's going to be trickier this time. How many have I got? Let's count it. You say the numbers and tell me how many we have at the end. Make sure we only count what I touch. That way we avoid counting the same thing twice. How many do I have all together? That's right, 15. Now let's share 15 between our two groups. One group, two groups. Let's share the 15 barely. Remember what to do. One for Mrs. Lego, one for Hello Kitty. Make sure that I'm doing it in the right order because we don't want to lose any of the smarties, any of the sweeties, do we? There are no more sweets to share. Let's look at Mrs. Lego's group. How many has she got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to write eight underneath. This group has eight altogether. This group with Hello Kitty has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what should we write underneath? Of course, seven. Have a look at the amounts in both groups. Eight and seven. Are these the same? Are these equal? Of course not. They're not the same. These groups are not equal. We can't share 15 equally between two groups as we've got seven and eight and they're not the same. They're unequal. But that's okay, even in Sharer's Paradise, because some numbers do not always fit nicely into our groups. We just have to get really good at spotting which numbers can and which can't. You know, sometimes we might even have one left over. If we wanted to make these two groups equal, we could take one away from here. And that would leave us with seven. Seven and seven are the same. Seven and seven are equal. And there is one left. We can call that the remainder. What could we do with that remainder though? You could pause the video now to have a little think about any other ways you can think of to share 15 equally. Did I hear you say share share 15 between a different number of groups? That's a great idea. Let's try. We used two last time, but it didn't work. So maybe we should try three groups. Say hello to Mr. Tiger. Ready to share out our 15 between one, two, three groups? Let's do it. That's it. We've shared out all of the sweets and there are none left. So let's take a closer look at these groups. Mrs. Lego has got one, two, three, four, five. So we need to write five there. Have a look at Mr. Tiger. He's got five as well. How about Hello Kitty? How many has she got? Well done. She has got five. Let's look at these groups and describe them. Five, five, five. Are they the same? Are they equal? Yes, they are. Let's look at our new stem sentence. I have three groups that are equal with five in them. I have three groups of five. I have 15 altogether. Yeah. You're going to do the comfort task today. You're going to need something to count, some number cards up to 10, and two friends, maybe some teddies. Select a number card and show that amount. Then you practice sharing between your two groups, between your two friends. Don't forget, 
you've got to explain what you've done with your sharing. You've got to say your sentence. I have got something equal groups of something. I have all together. Say that and you're on to a winner for the comfort task. If you feel up to the challenge task today, why don't you make some number cards that go all the way up to 20 and select one at random. Make the amount with your counting items and share them between two groups. Remember, some numbers will share equally and some won't. Can you find out which? Don't forget to say your sentences and perhaps you can draw or write them down for us to see. If you're feeling really confident after that, go ahead and try the danger task. Get your number cards all the way up to 20, select one at random and practice sharing your amount between two or maybe even three groups. Don't forget to say those sentences and we'd love to see that you're using the keywords equal and unequal. Best of luck.